So in this chapter, we're going to look at solving problems which have two unknown variables. So we're given a problem where Cobang has two types of rackets for a store, and we're told that the Asway rackets are worth forty dollars each, and the Onyx rackets are worth sixty dollars each. So we are told that he's bought 50 rackets and the total cost is $2,640. Now we don't know how many of them are the Asway rackets and we don't know how many of them are the Onyx rackets. So what we need to do is come up with two sets of equations, a set of two equations, um, which connect the two variables. So they, they say, suppose um, that we have X Asway rackets and Y Onyx rackets. And now that we've defined these variables x and y, we can come up with a relationship between the two. So we know in total there is, uh, if we add the two types of rackets, x number of Asway rackets plus y onyx rackets, we have 50 rackets in total. So he's bought 50 rackets. And then we can use the cost because we know that the Asway rackets cost $40 each, 40 times that cost plus uh, 40 dollars times that number of rackets plus sixty dollars times this number of that many rackets will give me the total cost so now we have two sets of we've got a set of two equations and we've got two unknown variables if we have two unknown variables and two equations we're able to solve that system of linear equation now you could try and solve it by trial and error but that would take quite quite some time in some instances or might even become almost impossible. Um, so basically we're just going to look at a few methods that we can use to solve this type of equation. The first way that we're going to look at is using a graphical solution to solve the problem. So when we want to solve a set of simultaneous equations graphically, basically what we have to do is graph the lines on the same, the same set of axes and wherever the two lines intersect each other, that gives us the solution to our problem. So in our opening problem here, if we were to graph these two equations um, on the same axes, we look for an intersection between X and Y, and basically wherever those two points intersect, that will tell us the number of each of the different types of brackets. So um, let's have a look at this example here. The first thing that we need to be comfortable in doing is graphing these types of equations, which is what we practiced all last week. So this first equation is in gradient intercept form. So I'll start with my y-intercept of negative one, and then I can use the slope, the y-step over the x-step to plot out the, the, the graph. Okay, so if we have a look here, we know that y is equal to 3x minus 1. So this is my y-intercept. So at negative 1, I can draw a point. And then since the slope is 3 over 1, it's the y-step over the x-step. So it means that I have to come 1 across and 3 up. So 1 across and then 1, 2, 3 up. And then if I connect those two, so this here is the equation, uh, is the line which represents y equals 3x minus 1. Then for equation number 2, uh, again we just need to plot two points. So if we go through the method that we learnt last week, if I look at when x is equal to 0, I know that 0 plus y is equal to 3, therefore y is equal to 3. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. I could draw a point here. And then when y is equal to 0, I would know that x plus 0 is equal to 3, whoops, is equal to 3, therefore x is equal to 3. 
So when y is zero, x is equal to three, which is at this point here, I have two points, therefore I can join them to form the line and it will cross through here. So remember to label the equation x plus y is equal to three. So basically at the point where the two intersect is the solution to the equation. So at this point here, which is one, two, one, two, we know that we have our solution. So if we just come back to our example, we can see that the graph meets at the point one, two, therefore the solution is x equals one and y equals two. So therefore the solution is x equals one, y equals 2. Now just notice a few things about my graph. Both my axes are labelled. I have put my arrows on each of the different axes and on the lines to show that they're continuous. So make sure that you're doing that for each question that you work through. So now you're going to have a go at working through some of these which I've listed on sector to find a graphical solution to those equations.